All right, so I'm taking a video just showing <laughs> that we reconfigured things again. So this is where the stove originally was. Then we moved it, oh, my hands are so filthy, out and it was centered more kind of where this table is. Um, we left it like that all winter, but we also didn't have a ceiling fan in here. So we kind of decided to move it back to its original position. Um, plus we were having problems with the stove pipe. Uh, it was at a little bit of a drop angle and sometimes it just, it's just not a good idea. The draft wasn't right. We were sometimes getting smoke in here. So anyway, so that is back to its original position. Um, so we put our chairs here and then we used to have this rack with the cooler and the water cooler over in that corner. So it was a pain. You'd get something out of the cooler that you were gonna cook with and you'd bring it over to the kitchen. So Alan had the idea of kind of angling, angling it in here. So now that's our drinking water. That is our food. That's our um, dish water. And so now it's all nice and close and part of the kitchen, which makes a lot more sense. Um, and then those bins, the yellow and black, um, that has all of his hunting clothes and stuff, that's going to get moved. That stack is going to get moved. He's going to build up the bed higher so that those fit underneath. We've got two tired hunters here. Number one and number two. <laughs> Howdy. So really nothing on this side has changed too much. Um, we did move the wood rack, which used to be there, and the bench. So we just flip-flop sides. So we will see um, how it works this winter. We just feel like having that fan circulate, the warm air, that it wasn't necessary to have the stove um, over. So we'll see. We shall see. I'm kind of digging it. I like the fact that everything for the kitchen is over by the kitchen, which makes sense.